What up everyone, my name is Storm. In today's video, we're going to be counting down the best perks from every survivor in Dead by Daylight. Each survivor comes with three unique perks that come with that character. With knowing what characters to prestige first, to unlock. Let me know in the comments below if you agree or disagree with this tier list. And let's start counting down with our first one, which is Dwight Fairfield. Coming in with Bond, Prove Thyself and Leader, some very interesting perks for sure. But the best perk with this category is Prove Thyself. This perk is extremely good with increasing the repair speed by 15% when working with other survivors which is really strong. If you want to crank out these generators extremely quick with your friends or to break the free gen setup to counter the current meta, the gen kick meta. This is your perk to go for. Megan Thomas. The survivor that throws Shack Pallet at 5 generators. A sprint burst away like nothing has happened. When you're just sat there on a generator face farming. That comes with quick and quiet, sprint burst and adrenaline. It's a tough choice because all three perks can be used with different situations with heads on builds, getting out of chase or the end game moment. But for this, I'm picking sprint burst. Whilst Adrenaline can be a one-time use, this perk can be quite strong when you know how to use it by 99 in your sprint burst to bait the killer out the swing when you can run like the wind. Claudette Moel, the blendette to hide all match, self carrying in the edge of the map and just throwing pallets on you. That comes with empathy, body knowledge and self-care. I would have to go with body knowledge with this category. Increases your healing speed up to 50% and it's really good on healing builds. Jake Park. When this one survivor joins the lobby, the killer mains get an instant flashback when every hook got sabotaged and the survivors just wiggle free. Jake Park comes with three perks, which is Iron Will, Time Spirit, and Saboteur. With the certain changes and nerfs, I still have to go with Iron Will as the best perk, which reduces the grunts of pain whilst being injured up to 75%. Nia Carlson. If not urban evading around the map like a go cat and hopefully not getting a speeding ticket, this survivor is working with the killer. That comes with balance London, urban evasion, and streetwise. This is an easy pick right here, which is balance London. Balance London is very handy when you're in chase and you have nowhere to go, and you're on top of a building like Armand Resort. Jump off the building when you have no cooldown and get that speed effect for 150% for three seconds. This can help so much to get to the next loop to waste the killer's time. Laurie Strode. A determined survivor prepared to face any challenge against pure evil. To build up the strength to fight back against any odds. Larry Strode comes with three perks, which is Soul Survivor, Object or Obsession, and Distrisive Strike. I have to go with Object or Obsession with this one. With Object or Obsession, it is a really good aura perk that allows you and the killer to see each other. And it can be very helpful from time to time to predict the killer's movement. Ace Vinconti, a lucky gambler improving the odds for the entire team. By boosting the luck of all survivors that comes with open hand, up the ant, and ace in the hole. We're going to be picking open handed, which extends the radius of all survivors based aura reading abilities. William Bill Overbeck, if he ain't fighting off zombies, is fighting the enemy with his annoying coughing and grunt. Comes with free perks, which is left behind, borrowed time, and unbreakable. I have to go for unbreakable because borrowed time is already base kit already. Unbreakable can prevent the killers from slugging and attempting to go for world records. Once per trial, you can completely recover from the dying state and recover 35% faster to allow your teammates to pick you up. Bang Min, an object focused competitor who can quickly adapt to his strategies to meet a fast range of challenging situations. Bang Min comes with technician, life, and alert. It's a tough one to be honest between life and alert, but we're going to be picking alert as the best perk, especially in solo queue because this perk can show the the killer's auras when destroying a pallet, breaking a wall, damaging a generator for up to 5 seconds. This perk can pass you so much information to actually adapt to your playstyle. David King. David King comes with Wiggle Love Forever, Dead Ad, and No Miver. Depending on your playstyle, if you want to play a Giga Chad build or to extend chase. But we're going to be picking the best perk, which is Dead Ad. Even with the nerf and changes, this perk can be very strong and annoying to face with how to time your Dead Ad without the killer waiting it out. Quentin Smith. The dreamwalker that scares survivors instead of being scared by the killer. That comes with pharmacy, vigil, and wake up. Easily, I have to go with vigil for this one because it is very good with pairing up with other extortion perks to extend chase or just to annoy the killer in general with head on builds. Detective David Tapp. If he ain't investigating a series of crime scenes linked to the jigsaw killing, the man is looping around certain tiles to escape the entity. Comes with three perks tenacity, detective hunch, and stakeout. 
some very decent perks with different builds but for this one i'm gonna pick stakeout because you can pair it up with fast track and other gem perks to increase the generator speeds kate denson a hateful songbird able to make the most out of her surroundings with three perks which is dancing with me wins opportunity and boil over it's gonna be a tough one but i'm gonna go with a winner's opportunity because it is very decent to be able to learn the loop on knowing where the pallets are adam francis a resourceful teacher able to adapt to her new circumstances and developing strategies accordingly adam francis comes with these perks diversion deliverance and auto didact even if I love using diversion to mean with a killer, I have to pick deliverance for this video, which passes you 100% chance for unhooking yourself on your first hook stage. It's a blessing or a curse, even if you get found first and get hooked, so the perk is useless, or you get the insane unhook moment and escape the trial. Jeffrey Johansson, if he ain't headbanging to heavy metal, he is home brewing beer and having a great time. Jeffrey Joseon comes with three perks, which is breakdown, aftercare, and detortion. I'm 100% picking breakdown for this category to prevent your death if the hooks around you have all been broken. Most of the time, this leads to getting slugged to death. I know some people in the comments are going to say detortion is better, it will hide you from the killer's auras. Let me know in the comments below which one you would pick for this category. Jane Romero. Jane Romero goes against the grain to tackle challenges heads on. These three perks is Soldelity, Poised and Head On. I have to easily go with Heads On for this one. And as easy for the killers to bait out this perk, when it works out, it could be an amazing play and escape from the chase. It's also really good when pairing it with other perks such as Crick and Quiet and Vigil. They put their perks together and go head on in. Ashley J. Williams. Look who's shitting in the tall grass. Ashley J. Williams comes with Flip Flop, Buckle Up, and Metal Man, and each perk comes with different playstyles. Even the secret buff to Buckle Up coming soon. With this character, I'm picking Flip Flop, which is very handy if you pair it up with Power Struggle to scare the killers. Yui Kimoka. Yui Kimoka is a hardened street racer, able to gain advantages for her and her fellow survivors. The perks that come with her is Lucky Break, Any Means Necessary, and Breakout. Every perk is good for a certain build combo, but I'm picking Lucky Break, which is a really good perk to suppress your pools of blood and scratch marks for 60 seconds, and each second spent healing another survivor will recharge that perk for one second which doesn't seem like a lot, but a few seconds can confuse a killer where you went. Serena Kasser. Serena Kasser stands determined to uncover the truth, and she comes with these perks. Off the record, Red Heron, and For the People. I have to pick Off the Record for this one, because it prevents your auras from being shown to the killer. Also, it suppresses your grunts of pain when injured, and it grants you the endurance stats effect as well. Shower Mason. Shoa Mason is a young veteran of terror, emboldening both herself and her team. She comes with Soul Guard, Blood Back, and a Pressed Alliance. The best perk is Soul Guard, which allows you to pick yourself back up a limited amount of times if you're cursed by the Hex Totem, which also pushes you the endurance status effect for up to 8 seconds. This perk is very good against slugging killers. Felix Richter. Felix Richter is a visionary architect, able to use his relentless determination to form a plan to help others. He comes with Visionary, Desperate Measures, and Built for Last. The best perk is Built to Last, which is extremely strong. You can recharge your items over and over when you jump inside our locker. So imagine this with Gem Rush builds or your healing builds. Give it a try. LED Racto. LED Racto comes with Appraisal, Deception, and Power Struggle. And I have to say Power Struggle is the best one in this category. It's not the best perk in general, but it can be very useful with other perks like a flip-flop and tenacity. It can be extremely strong when it works out, and the killers can be afraid of them pallets, especially if you have a full team running it. Yun Jin Lee Yun Jin Lee is a self-interested music producer able to advance her goals as she comes with fast track, my shirt, and self-preservation. I have to pick fast track, which is an okay perk, but it can be very helpful and pass you extra progression towards the generators. Jill Valentine Jill Valentine is a founder member of the Stars, who created countless bionic weapons that comes with Counterforce, Resurgence, and Blast Mine. Well, currently with the Kick Gen meta, I have to go with Blast Mine as the best perk. You can repair generators, place a Blast Mine on it, the killer kicks it, and the killer gets stunned and blinded. Then you can put Pressed Alliance, which is another perk, to block up the generator so he can't kick it, especially if he has Pop Goes the Weasel. 
Leon Scott Kennedy. Leon is a rookie police officer who begun the Call of Duty during the outbreak in the Raccoon City, which comes with Bite the Bullet, Flashbang and Rookie Spirit. The best perk is Bite the Bullet. When healing yourself or another survivor, grunts of pain and all noises related to healing action are suppressed. Michaela Reed, the one survivor that is booting for no reason. Instead of actually doing something useful in the game. Stop booning and help out. Michaela Reed comes with Clairvoyance, Boon Circle of Healing and Boon Shadow Step. The best perk is Boon Circle of Healing. Yes, Shadow Step can come clutch to make killers lose your scratch mats. But that extra heal can come with clutch as well by unlocking a free perk which is self care. And this will help with saving teammates, doing a generator or even escaping. Just don't boon every second of the match. Be smart when booning because the killer will bait it out. Jonah Van Kess. Jonah Van Kess is a mathical mastermind, able to use his knowledge to help his team out. He comes with Overcome, Correction Action, and Boon Exponential. I would say the best perk is Overcome. If you're playing solo queue and you get hit by a killer, you'll get a Sprint Burst Haste Effect for two seconds to break line of sight and to try and find a teammate to reset. Yoshi Kasakia is a brilliant marine biology and physics through knowledge and abilities allows him to protect himself and assist others. He comes with permanent guidance, empathy connections, and boon dark theory. Interesting choices I would say, but permanent guidance is the best perk. After stunning the killer by any means, permanent guidance suppresses your scratch marks, pulls the blood, and grunts the pain for up to 7 seconds. Crazy right? Harry Kerr. Harry Kerr is a brave and determined broadcaster with the ability to see and feel places of great suffering as she comes with inner focus, resistful, manifest and overseerless. The best perk is overseerless I think. At the cleanse of the totem you gain a repair speed for any action until you lose a health state. Then you can find another totem and do the process again. Ada Wong. Ada Wong is a mystery secret agent with certain skills that make her a dangerous foe. She comes with wiretap, reactive healing, and low profile. I would say the best perk is wiretap, because after repairing a generator, you'll be able to see the killer's auras, which is extremely powerful. Rebecca Chambers. Rebecca Chambers is a gifted medic that helps others. She comes with better than new, reassurance, and hyper focus. I would say with the current meta, we have to go with reassurance. If the hook survivor has already entered the struggle phase, the skill traits are paused for that duration. This perk is a massive lifesaver. The final character is Vintorio Gacanto, as endless wandering throughout the fog, attempts to learn its secrets for ages. He comes with Potential Energy, Fogwise, and Quick Gambit. The best perk is Potential Energy, as this perk could be extremely strong to break up a 3 gen setup, restoring the energy tokens from repairing generators and then releasing them tokens into another generator, which is quite strong I would say. Thank you for watching this video and I really hope you did enjoy. And let me know in the comments below if you agreed or disagreed with this list. Also come by to the Discord server if you want to ask me any questions or find people to play with. Thank you for watching this video and I'll catch you in the next video. Take it easy everyone and peace.